Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about my absolute newborn must-haves and newborn essentials. Before we hop into today's geography lesson, no, I'm just kidding. Before we hop into today's video, as you can see, I'm trying out a different background. It's a little bit more echoey in here. I need to like work on the acoustics. I'm in my dining room, but it was a very nice area to like set my things out and there's more natural light in this room. So we'll see how this goes. If you guys are new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Morgan. I do a lot of this like mom style content. I do cleaning videos. I do decoration videos. I do day in the life videos. Basically anything that is happening in my life as being a mom of two. I have a daughter who is three and a half and I have a one month old little boy. He will be actually six weeks old this Saturday, which is crazy, which is why I make a lot of these like mom style videos because that is my life right now and what my life is I love to share with you guys on my channel all right well I can certainly say that I am I think I would consider myself like more of like a simple um, newborn person I don't like too many products and like too many gadgets gizmos gear things like that but I do like my gear the gear that I do have and the gadgets I do have I really do enjoy all right so let's start off with like some of my like mm, like gear gadgets I don't know what to call this but um, I have them like laid out on like placemats so they're like platters in front of me um, okay so first thing I'm going to mention so I am breastfeeding and breast pumping right now um, I'll do a combination of both I have been doing more pumping um, just because I want to kind of get into the swing of things before I have to go back to work here in the next few weeks so um, now that you know that I'm breastfeeding um, if you haven't seen in my other videos I love the Hakka this is one of my absolute absolute newborn essentials if you're a breastfeeding mama so if you haven't tuned in to my breastfeeding video or if you haven't tuned in to any of my other day in the life videos which i will have those linked up here for you guys i think it's this side and then i'll also have them linked down below so you can kind of go through and see how i use this in my day-to-day -to -day life um, but this is a haka silicone breast pump it just attaches to the side that you are not nursing on and this will catch the letdown I get a lot of questions on this. If you guys do have questions, I would be happy to answer them down below, but I do encourage you to take a peek at my breastfeeding 101 video, surviving your first month of breastfeeding, because I have a whole section on this little guy in that video, and you can see the timestamp in the description box on that video as well that I have dedicated to this little pump. All right, so my holy grail, <laughs> I love that thing. Moving on to one more breastfeeding product here. If you're breastfeeding your little one, you are required to give them vitamin D drops every single day because breast milk does not provide them with the vitamin D that they need. And where I live right now, we're um, having a little bit of a case of cabin fever because we get so much snow, so much snow. It's winter time, the sun I feel like is never shining and I live in a cave. So vitamin D all around is a great thing during the winter time here. You are told to give your baby vitamin D drops. So these are the ones that I use. These are USDA organic vitamin D drops by Mommy's Bliss. I just give them one of these daily, just one drop daily. And yeah, so I use it daily, so I figured I would include it in my essentials video. But I highly recommend um, this. Um, I highly recommend this brand. I like that it's just a one drop formula and I don't have to give them like an entire syringe. Um, yeah, just less fuss is great for me. Yeah. Moving on to the next thing that I use, not daily, but pretty dang often, um, is gripe water. So this gripe water, what it's good for, if you're not familiar with gripe water, um, it gently relieves stomach discomfort from gas, colic, and hiccups. And um, this is newborn and up, so you can use it right from birth up. Um, I probably didn't use this until probably week two-ish. This is great for hiccups. The little man was getting hiccups a lot during like weeks three and four, so this was awesome for that. Um, he does not like to have the hiccups and he gets kind of angry and um, a little chirpy is what I would call it. Okay, so moving on to like the last couple products that I've been using. Um, he, since birth, has been very nasally, very congested, especially at night um, when he's laying on his back more and he's not being held and burped, etc. Um, he's very flat on his back, so I feel like that contributes more so to why he gets so congested. But I've been using the saline drops 
um, and I just put a couple on each side or one on each side depending on how congested he is and that will really help me to suck those boogers up now these are what I use to suck his little boogies up it depends on um, how good one or the other is working. This is the Nose Frida, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the Nose Frida. So this is a little suction device. You put this end in your baby's nose or just like at the entrance of your baby's nose on the nostril and there's a filter in here and you suck. Yes, the boogers do not come through but yes, you do have to like suck the boogers to come out of their nose. Um, I highly recommend this. This is super great, especially when they start to get older. I feel like the opening of this um, is a little big if my baby's nose is just so super tiny baby's noses are tiny in general So I don't know why the opening of this one is so huge I mean, I don't want to like shove it up his nose, but I feel like I don't know It just like covers like too much of like the outside of his nostrils. So it's like sucking his entire like nose It's weird, but but I do love it So this is one device I will use and if this one's not working quite as well this one has a little bit more of like a narrow um, tip onto it, and this is the little remedies, um, like nose bulb, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, so this one has a little bit different shape. They give you one in the hospital as well, but this one's even better. Um, yeah, and it's smaller. So anyways, this really helps to get the um, boogies out of their nose if they're congested. Uh, my next newborn must have newborn essential is um, a passy. Neither of my babies have been big like Wobbinub fans. I know so many people love those Wobbinubs, but my both my babies have not. In fact, Kaya didn't like passies, pacifiers, nooks, whatever you want, soothers, whatever you personally call them. Um, my daughter never took to them, which was really nice because we never had to wean her off of it. But now with baby boy, Riker has really been attached to a passy if he doesn't have a bottle or a nipple in his mouth, he has to have a passy in his mouth. He's liked two brands so far. I've noticed that he likes the flatter ones. This one got like blanket fur all over it from last night. Um, so this one is one of the Avent ones and it's a flatter nipple. He likes the flatter nipples. And uh, the one that he has, I think it's called like Mam. It's like M-A-M or something like that. Mom, ma'am, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but those have a little bit more of a flatter nipple as well. And those are his ultimate favorite. And that is what he's using currently. And of course, pacifiers go to some different world, some different dimension once they get lost, because once they're lost, they're lost. They're never coming back. So I don't know where the other ones of that brand went, but he's using it and he loves it. And attached to this, you will see that I, ooh, Attached to this, you will see that I have a, um, I have like a clip, um, and this end over here, this will clip directly onto his clothes, which is so nice. So he's either, he's usually wearing like looser clothes or he's wearing like some kind of bandana bib. So we'll just kind of clip that onto his clothes like this, and then it just can hang from his clothes. And then we lose a lot less passies this way. All the ones that have not been on these clips, you guys, we have lost. All the other passies in the house that we've had have gotten lost because they're not on these um, nice little like binky clips. Next item on my essentials list is the Farmstead Apothecary Lavender and Chamomile Baby Powder. This is 100% natural. I believe, yep, it's made of tapioca starch, organic chamomile, organic lavender, and organic calendula. So um, what this, what I like about this is that it doesn't like puff up and I really don't use a ton of powder on my babies, but with baby boys, I feel like um, there's more wrinkles, if you will. So you need to use a little bit more powder just to make sure it's dry down there um, and you're not getting too much moisture and getting diaper rashes. So anyways, again, I really, really loved this brand and it smells really good too. Of course, the next newborn essential I have, it should be on everybody's essential list, is a burp cloth, a burp rag, whatever you wanna call them. The ones that I got are off of Amazon, I believe, and I, if I can find a link to them again, I will leave that link down below for you. Everything here, again, if I can find links for them, they will be linked down below. But this came in like a really cute four pack, and I think I got it like right around Christmas time, which is why I got this buffalo check plaid. Um, came in a four pack of really cute baby boy prints. This is really thick, it's really soft, and it's really absorbent. Um, I found that the white side is much more absorbent than the buffalo check side, um, but regardless, they work great. Um, 
Yeah, and I always have one in my diaper cart, so. Which I will get to in a second. By the way, if you haven't seen my diaper cart video, I will have that linked right here right now for you. I highly recommend that you guys go check that video out because a lot of these products are in my diaper cart. In fact, when I was getting ready for this video, that's what I went to was my diaper cart to see exactly what I was using every single day. But the diaper cart itself and the diaper caddy on top um, are essentials as well. But I'll show you guys in just a second what that looks like, along with a couple of like bigger items or bigger gear or things that he's using. Um, I will show you guys that at the very end, they'll be the last products I show you. All right, so like I mentioned, I am breastfeeding my son, but I'm also pumping and we have introduced a bottle. So our bottles this time, our favorite bottles this time, have been the Komotomos. Last time we used the Avent Natural bottles and we do really like those. And my son really likes them too. Um, we just, we have, I believe that we got like one in the Amazon baby registry box. So he will have um, milk out of the Avent Natural bottle too. But these ones just flow a little bit slower and they're more shaped like a boob, um, which sounds really funny. Like, why would that make a difference? Like, I mean, like this side, it's just kind of squishy. It's a soft silicone type of bottle. Um, but he seems to really like these and I find that he gets less gassy off of these two. And I think it's because the nipple flow is a lot slower. Even though the Avent Natural one, it's the slowest flowing nipple that they have. Um, these ones just are even slower. I feel like that really makes a difference when we're feeding him um, as far as like gas and burps. Okay, so kind of getting into, um, I would say like the clothing side of things. First and foremost, I wanna tell you guys that our, from like from birth to today, our favorite swaddles are Copper Pearl. I honestly just ordered these at first because I like the colors and I wanted to do like a newborn photo shoot in the hospital. But um, these are the best bottle blankets I have ever used. They are stretchy, they're thin, you can tuck them in really tight. And, um, and yeah, they're just, they're awesome. You can wrap them up a million times and there's no way that my baby is getting out of this if he has swaddled correctly in it, but um, they're so soft. So soft on their like brand new baby skin. And like I said, so stretchy. Just, oh, I cannot recommend the Copper Pearl Swaddles enough. When it comes to swaddling at night, so we kind of have a routine. So during the day, we will have him um, lightly or loosely swaddled in this. And then um, I will try to either swaddle him up really tight in this thing at night, or if I want it to be like fuss free and I don't want to have to like re-swaddle him, sometimes it's kind of hard to do. These are really big. So in the middle of the night when I'm reaching over um, and I'm grabbing him out of his bassinet, putting him on the bed to change his bum and to feed him, um, sometimes it's nice to have these swaddles, which are the um, Swaddle Me, like cocoon wrap looking swaddles. This is an off brand of the Swaddle Me and um, it is from Amazon. It's just called like baby goods <laughs> anyways um this is the one that he used last night so it might have a little bit of puke on it <laughs> but um, these are so great you guys i love them because there's no fussing i'll kind of show you how it works here um so there's like um felt on the side and the um these like strap onto it they velcro onto it and there is a little section right here um that wraps across their body and then it velcros again. So there's a velcro here in the middle and um, there is a piece of felt here. So in the middle of the night, what's so nice about this um, for re-swaddling or just um, changing his bum really quick is I can pull this middle part down like this and then I can tuck it underneath his butt, take out his legs and then I can um, change his bum really quick without ever unswaddling the top and then I just um, tuck his little legs back in here, go like this, and I will stick that Velcro back onto the felt, and boom, you're re-swaddled just like that, and you never have to unswaddle the top. By the way, um, my sister's helping watch Baby in the background, so that's why you'll hear voices and squawkings and things like that, um, because Mama needs an extra hand when I record these videos for you guys. 
All right, so moving on to like my more like clothing essentials for having a newborn. Now you guys have seen in like several of my other videos that I love the Burt's Bees um, jammies or like the Bur Burt's Bees sleepers. I honestly just keep my newborn babies in these types of jammies clothes all day long. Um, I will do sleepers that are like zip up or button down or magnetic. I will also do rompers because I like just having one piece. It's really easy to change their bums. Um, and then I also like the nightgowns for at night. So that's more so like what I define as like jammies. Um, I'll show you guys here. So this, for example, is the, one of the uh, magnetic sleepers and I love it so much. My sister got this for me for Christmas. So very easy and the magnets are much stronger than you think. But look how easy that is. That's opening, closing. So awesome. Um, so I really like to have him in these during the day. Once in a while I'll stick him in these when he is sleeping, but mostly during the day this is what he'll wear. And then at nighttime I like to have him in these baby boy nightgowns. Now the reason why I like to do this, you guys, so I'll combine it. Obviously I like buffalo check plaid, but um, I like to combine the swaddle with the nighttime gowns like this because when you're changing his bum, like I mentioned with the swaddle, you can just like pull that down really quick and tuck it behind his legs. And then with the sleeper gowns, you can just bunch this up. You don't have to unswaddle his entire thing, unzip him, zip him back up. You can just simply push this up, change his bum, pull it back down, and then pull the bottom of the swaddle back over their little legs, and they're already retucked in back to bed, back Betty back and ready for bed and you mama can get back to sleep better as well. Again, highly recommend um, getting these little sleepers, especially if they have the little middies like this on the hand, on the ends, or for the, for the ends. Um, especially if they have these little middies for the hands. Um, these are just great. This is what I will put him in almost every single night for bed, unless they are all dirty. <laughs> and then, um, Again, for during the day, I'll usually just have them in those sleep and plays because they're just so easy. The only time I ever really have them in like a onesie with pants or like a cute outfit is when we're having people over or I'm trying to do a cute picture or we are going to be seeing family members or something like that. So yeah. He um, approves. Look at him. He approves. Ken says, I like it. So I'm gonna have my sister bring around baby right now so I can show you, but this is a really good example of what I'll put him in for during the day. You can say hello. Say hello. Marlo, can you say hi? Hi. Hey. Ah. Yeah, say I'm not happy today. Mom. Wow. I'm not happy boy today. You want your passy? So this is the other kind of passy that he loves. Yeah, say hello. I got big blue eyes. Yeah. Wow, those lights are pretty awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, this. Um, so this is a romper, and this one, actually, this romper I got off of Amazon, and this um, just buttons at the bottom, which is really nice because then I can just unbutton him, change him. He still looks really cute during the day. It looks like more like an outfit instead of jammies, and it has a little hood on it too, but, um, but yeah. Anyway, um, also an Amazon find. These are really thick and comfy. Um, I'm not sure where this, where the magnetic sleeper came from. I think it was a little boutique here in town. Um, and then also these swaddles were from Amazon. And yes, you can buy Copper Pearl on Amazon too. We like Amazon in this house, can you not tell? All right, so baby boy had to go in the swing because Hins was not happy, he wanted to be swayed. Okay, so getting into the rest of my essentials here. Um, this is the bathtub that we use and love. <sighs> And I honestly, I had the exact same bathtub for my daughter Kaya, but um, this is just the boy version of it. So this bucket here, this blue bucket, we got from the hospital. The hospital sent us home with this and also sent us home with this little brush. Now I love this little brush. It's so soft, but it's also like barely, it's just an abrasive enough where um, you can exfoliate like their cradle cap. So they get like dead skin on their head when they're born as they come out because they go from like being a mermaid to being like wrinkled up little old men. So um, this helps just to get the dead skin off the top of their heads. Um, going hand in hand with that. So my mom put this on my diaper cake. I'm not sure where she got it from, but there is a suction on the back and there are two different textures here. Um, one is like more of like a thicker, like more abrasive. Um, it's made out of silicone, so it's not super abrasive, but um, just a like, different um, exfoliant 
um, type textures here, but this is super great for um, when you're washing their hair in the bathtub. Um, yeah, if I don't feel like using the brush, I'll use this really quick because it's really easy to handle and I can do it while I'm holding him. But, um, and then we use the Avino Baby for wash and shampoo and we also use the lotion. Now, once he turned a month old, we started to use the lotion. This is the Lightly Scented Natural Oat Extract Avino Baby. We will also use their eczema formula as well because um, when my daughter was little, she really struggled with eczema and it was like extra sensitive and um, smelled really good and it was just clean smelling but not being too over scented where not too over scented where it's going to make them sensitive or affect their skin. Um, yeah. So anyways, and then the bucket of course is what we use to put the water in and then we'll just pour that like directly onto his little body as we rinse him off. And then of course we use a washcloth, washcloth as well. I and mean, we'll put that over him while he's taking a bath to keep him warm. Yeah, um, yeah, and that's what we use. These are like our essentials for bathing. Um, and this is our bottle warmer. This is just the same one that we've had since Kaya. So it's a little bit more beat up. But um, yes, definitely essential in the middle of the night. If I am going to have my husband give him a feed or have him take over one of the feeds, then um, he can warm up the bottle in here. Super nice. I forgot to include this. Um, you have heard me talk about this Soli Baby Wrap. If you've been watching my other videos, you know that I love this thing. And again, it seems really intimidating at first because it's just like, it's just like one really long piece of fabric. But once you have put this on a few times, you will get the hang of it and if your baby's anything like mine he loves to be snuggled when he's fussy um he's very much so mama's boy he likes to just snuggle and like just be walked around with he likes to walk around with me so when my arms are getting tired and trust me they get tired really quick because he's like over 12 pounds now so i like to put him in the wrap and um that way he is being soothed he's close to mama he's right on my chest and then I can get some things done as well. So I highly recommend it. Can you guys tell that I like plaid, buffalo check plaid? I have a problem. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention that I absolutely love these bandana bibs. Um, these ones actually my sister-in-law got. Thank you so much. Um, these are the most absorbent, soft bandana bibs ever. Um, the brand is Kitty, I believe Kitty Star? Kitty Star? I, the, cursive is not very good at, on this but, but if I can find them on Amazon etc I will link them down below for you guys but it came in like a huge like 10 pack and there's a ton of different prints and um, the front is really soft and absorbent and the back is like the softest fleece ever and also very absorbent but I always have one of these on him to um, absorb any dribble or pukage that might be happening Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys um, a couple of things here that were too big to fit on the table with me. Or if you've seen my bedside nursery video, um, that is where you're going to see this diaper cart. Now, I got this diaper cart off of Target for $30, and that caddy there on top is from Amazon. This is like my go-to. You've seen me in all of my day in the life videos. I carry this thing up and down the stairs every single day. Um, and then I'll just have like all of his passies clipped. I've got diapers and wipes, hand sanitizer, everything that I just showed you in the video, I will keep in here. I mean, minus the bath stuff and the bottle warmer, but um, everything else that I was showing when I was sitting down, I just went through this cart and picked out my essentials and decided to show them to you guys. Okay, so this is like my section of the couch. This is where I hang out most days. But here are a few more of my essentials. Um, an open thing of wipes, real mom life. <laughs> and then also Burp Rag. This is another print that came in that pack. I have my boppy pillow here, which I use like half of the time for breastfeeding, actually probably like a third of the time for breastfeeding. And then really the only other times I use it is for him to like lie or sit up now I would say this thing this is the newborn boppy lounger and dare I say that this thing is better than the docketot um, our docketot I could honestly do without I don't need it but this thing the newborn boppy lounger is amazing if you're wondering if there is a cheaper alternative to the docketot I honestly would recommend this um, they're not allowed to like nap in the newborn boppy loungers 
This is our last newborn essential. So this is the Graco, um, it's like a two-in-one swing. So this part right here, as you can see, it has legs. It will, um, if you like press the sides, if you press these buttons on the sides, it'll lift off and it becomes a bouncer. Um, the vibration's on right now, which is why it sounds so crazy. But yes, this thing is awesome. He very much so likes to be in motion. Like I mentioned, it has a vibration thing on it. And then up here, it also has like music and you can turn the music on. Um, and then it also has like sounds, like, like nature sounds. And this is how you mute it. You turn it off. You can turn that music up or down. And then it goes all the way up to six for the swinging motion. And we've had this since my daughter was born, so I'm not sure if they have this exact color combo out still. Um, my dad and my mom got this for me as soon as we had our daughter, and it has been an absolute must have for both of my babies. All right, I did just wanna include our play mat. I suppose I should include it because he does use this thing quite a bit. Um, we've had this since my daughter Kaya, and it just got handed down to him as well. <laughs> it's like, it's from the brand Infantino, and it's like silky, and it does have like a ton of toys on it usually, but Kaya has taken them off. My daughter has taken them off, so this is what we're left with. So yeah, that is um, the other bigger piece that I would quote unquote consider a newborn essential. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for my newborn essentials and newborn must haves video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have put a lot of thought and effort into this video and really tried to narrow it down to the things that I use almost every single day. Um, again, I'm more of like a simple person when it comes to my newborn stuff. I like it to be easy. I like my gadgets, gizmos, gear, clothing to be simple. I like it to make my life easier, um, to improve my sleep, <laughs> and to improve baby sleep. So if it does any of those things, I'm going to have it. But again, I don't need all the gadgets and gizmos in the world. And honestly, a lot of your time in the first month is just spent holding baby, snuggling baby, bonding with your baby. So really, you don't need all those gadgets and gizmos. I will also have um, a baby essentials video coming out, like probably more so when he gets to be like three or three to six months, it's probably six months. That way I have like more than just like this essential newborn stuff because he will transition into using um, some different gear and different things as he gets older. And I know that just because that's how it was with my daughter Kaya as we transitioned into different gear and products when she was like six to nine months. So I will have a video for you guys later on this year covering those essentials. All right, you guys, if you haven't already, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I make, again, a lot of this mom style content, just really what's happening in my life. Being a mommy of two little kids, um, is what I record for you guys and I share with you. I do a lot of day in the life videos as well Just to kind of give you an idea of like what real mom life is like very authentic um, I'm very transparent I'm an open book with you guys and I show you the good parts the bad parts and everything in between If you like this kind of video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up It really helps promote my videos and leave a comment down below letting me know what your essentials are and I will see you guys on Friday for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys.